जिंदगी एक सफर है सुहाना यहाँ कल क्या हो किसने जाना जिंदगी एक सफर है सुहाना यहाँ कल क्या हो किसने जाना आ जिंदगी एक सफर है सुहाना यहाँ कल क्या हो किसने जाना अरे उड़ने उड़ने हो 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 Good afternoon and welcome back to Cook It With Bilu. It's very hot in here, maybe 34 to 36 degree Celsius and you need a beer to chill. And uh, it's a beautiful weekend, Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to my own dad and to all fathers uh, in this world, including myself. So God bless all. I'm going to make today a very different, uh, but I love it. I done once and I really like it. I'm making chole, chickpeas, ghost. So it's called chana ghost. So I have mutton, uh, goat meat. I have one and a half kg of uh, very small pieces. Like I cut it very small. It's a leg. You can use any part of the goat. But I have one and a half kilogram and I have uh, two cups of uh, boiled chickpeas and my favorite coriander and I have three a medium to large size of uh, very finely look very finely sliced cut onions and I have uh, ginger and garlic um, I have I think three four four cloves I have of garlic and the ginger maybe two tablespoons and this one I use it in the end for garnish I have one tomato, large tomato, skin off, make sure no skin on it and um, I have a half cup, half cup to a little bit more uh, yogurt, very hot green chili and uh, this is all uh, common herbs which we use in every meat or anything, coriander, cumin seed, aldi, turmeric, uh, garam masala, Kashmiri mitch for color. It's not hot. Uh, you can use hot too, if you want. And then I have um, fenugreek, the methi, and salt the way you like it. And this is very important. I have two, three bay leaves, ten cloves, and one stick of uh, cinnamon. So I'm going to show you how to make a really delicious, fantastic, yummy, maza aajega khane ke baad. So stay with me and I am start cooking right now. Here you go guys, my pan is ready, oil is heat up. I use olive oil, you can use any oil you like. I put almost uh, six, five to six tablespoon of oil, heat up. And first thing, we have to put this, all these three things, clove, cinnamon stick and bay leaves. So you put it in and your heat is uh, medium, to little lower or medium is okay and you wait till they start popping up like you can feel the smell beautiful aroma um, my oil is really heat up so this is ah, I can all, already I feeling the um, the aroma so we don't want to burn it we just want to you know just open up see it's popping up so second step is garlic and ginger. Make be careful sometimes these things, you know, jumping in this and uh, cover yourself. So we give uh, one one and a half minute. You can see it's quickly going to be brown and a beautiful aroma of garlic and uh, uh, ginger is going to come up. As soon as it comes up, second step, you have to add the goat. Okay, this is uh, important part which I should show you before when I'm mixing it. The goat, 
you have to mix it with yogurt and all the onions and use hand I have a I, I did a mistake using a small plate where you use something and mix it good with your hands salt only three things salt uh, sorry four things salt onion yogurt and goat and you mix it with your hands leave it for five minutes best thing is to leave it for five minutes so I mix it now so it's almost five, five minutes done so now time to add this everything into look is nice brown so we're gonna put all this beautiful goat with the onion and yogurt inside and we're gonna cook now till you see the goat we're gonna keep cooking this one without adding any other thing till you see the goat is changing its color and cook this on medium to high heat and it's going to be really good guys when it's done it's simple and there is something I don't know what the trick is when you mix yogurt salt and this onion together and leave it for five to ten minutes is some kind of things goes to the goat and the goat is my favorite guys okay look at this this is after five minutes so no water added all this liquid is a yogurt so let the goat get tender soft in the cooking in a yogurt so we have five minutes like that it's a change the color now so now we're going to cover it close the lid on to medium to little high heat I have on uh, five or six and let him cook for another five five minutes okay guys look at this after six seven minutes it's beautiful aroma let me open it up and see what is cooking in there look at the beauty so look at this water the yogurt water almost almost gone so now we're going to open and going to cook it it's called the full now, you know. So we're going to cook it for a few minutes until you see the goat gets more brown. And then we're going to add the herbs. A couple of minutes is good enough after opening the lid. And you can see it's getting changing color and it's getting brown. And that is the beauty of the goat. Now to add the really spicy green chilies. Goes in guys. And all these herbs except methi. We're gonna use it a little bit later. So I just throw all these things in it. The methi I'm gonna put it soon after after a few minutes of cooking so now we're going to mix these herbs really good in and now keep in your mind if, if you need now water you can add it half a cup of water or something but do not just fill it up with the water because we are not making curry so herbs smelling so nice mix it well and now we're going to add the tomatoes I put one tomato um, if you want more thick gravy you can add two I just um, don't know the reason but some people like more tomatoes I like a little less tomato so now we're going to mix it good and let it cook till the tomatoes goes softened and like a gravy so just leave it in there and let them cook on the medium to a little bit of lower heat okay we're going to wait for two minutes then we add methi in it the penny week and now time is to add the chickpeas guys the chole oh, 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 oh. 
Ooh, and the Missy sprinkle all over. And this is a time to make goat as a veggie goat. So we're gonna mix it well and let him simmer all the chickpeas in the juicy so in the aroma of the fantastic goat. I use a goat leg, even shoulders or boneless goat, anything can work with this. So we're gonna cook it for another um, two, three minutes. With cover up the lid and let him cook for medium to low heat for two to three minutes. Okay guys, and there's uh, five minutes of cooking after I putting all the herbs and um, uh, the chickpeas and stuff. And now I can smell nice. Time is no limit, I'm telling you. That's the most important part in goat meat. There's no time limit because when you're cooking in a pot, when you're cooking in a cooker, then it's okay. Here, it takes time and depends on what kind of goat you have. I have a baby goat, it cooks very quick. And sometimes you get a little uh, aged goat, it takes time. But when you cook here, you have, make sure you have to cook till it's really get tender, like juicy. One of my friends, he likes it a uh, little kichwa, you know, to like pull it, you know, like much tender and much softer. So everybody different. So this is now, chickpeas is really good in it. And we're going to add a cup of water. This will help goat to get more tender. So in the end, if you want, if you feel like the goat did not get much tender, you can add more water in. So this is going to be, we're going to cook again. Um, cover it and let him simmer on the slower heat this time now. Uh, less than, way less than medium. And in the end, we're going to garnish it. So we're going to cook it. Um, let him tender and get all his juices in. Oh ho ho ho! This is now all ready guys. Smell is all over in my living room and time to open the lid. So remember that when you cook in here, goat, it take time. Take 45 minutes, 50 minutes, it depends. So 45-50 minutes is normal. If you want faster, cook it in the uh, cooker. Time to open up and time to garnish. So here you go guys, let it gone. Uh, look at this. This is fantastic. Look, all the chickpeas are melting in down. Turn the heat really in the end and put your coriander. Oh, I love coriander and I'm garnish with my ginger slices. So you just cook for half a minute. And it's time to take it out and eat. I can't wait, man. I'm so hungry now. Okay, guys, my goat, my chickpeas, my chole ghost is ready. And now I'm making a roti with it. It's non-style roti. I veil it. I rolled it. Put just a whole wheat atta. And it's going directly onto the rack. And look at this. You're gonna just cook it just the way the nans are. Look, look at this, it's uh, puffing up, bubbling it up, guys. And now, turn it over. It's on uh, high heat, medium to high heat. Watch it, guys, it's going to be so yummy, man. Look at this, guys, so we're gonna turn it over. Just keep, stay with it, keep eyes when it start, you know. It's just like a tandoori roti and it's so delicious. Look at this. Oh my god. The chole ghost. The chickpeas with the uh, mutton. Chickpeas with goat. Right? Delicious guys. 
and this is my rack roti and I'm going to try the fantastic I don't know what to say you have to cook try it and then let me know I am just amazing taste guys fantastic okay guys thank you very much Salam Alaikum good evening Namaste and Sasri Akal to all of you love you guys Thank you very much for giving me all your love and support and liking my cooking. Please uh, don't forget to su subscribe me in uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be with you guys next week with some fantastic cooking and some beautiful drinks. Till then, stay safe and enjoy. Goodbye. Love you all.